Rich Cuts presents a Black Pearl Productions. Monumental, Black Boom, Muddy Waters. No more niggas crying on TV. Stop that. Love. It's all love, baby. It's all love. ADOS, ADOS, African and indigenous. But you've been robbed. And we ain't going for that. Madman, madman, yeah, that's me. Unfortunately, this is how they made us. So yeah, there's things that I won't tolerate and that is a lot of things that I will tolerate, but it's gonna be what it's gonna be. But don't think for one moment that I won't do or say anything about the things that I do tolerate. So don't get mad at me when I say something about the things I do tolerate, cause I'm just like you. So with that being said, let's get into this. Hey, uh, what's up? Oh no, let's fuck. What about the kid for one? Hey, the thing, the thing, the thing. Now, uh, oh. to the sound, the music got too loud. Instagram allowed. You fucking allowed. Yeah, that's right. Hey, that's okay. Okay, it's not right. Hey, it's not right. You ain't got no, you ain't got no, you ain't got no Hey, you said I had you raw. You lied. You said I ate them drawers, but you lied. <laughs> Peace and love, everyone. Peace and love to the family. <laughs> Don Cornelius. Yes, yes, yes. Peace and love, man. And hair grease and to all that. Family, it's another day, another night that we get to daggum celebrate black excellence in this building. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Woo. Black excellence. Yeah. What is on your mind? Hey man, what time is it? Hey, remember we was talking about um. Do you remember? Um. The old bully thing. Facing up to the bully and fighting the bully. Right, 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 right. The bullies are, the bullies are, are fucking winning. The bullies are winning. The bullies are getting claps for being bullies. But the nice guy, the good guy, fuck that, 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 that finish last. Finish last. So, so we, we have an all. When, you know, when courageous people do research, because that's what they do, and find the real, and talk about it, or when people in, in organizations, you know what I'm saying, you go to school and shit, and you got ambition, you got Drive, you want to be somebody, you want to be remembered. You know, from when you're young, and you, you work hard and shit, sacrificing all that shit, go to school, try to 
got to be advanced. When you be in these organizations, that, you know, feed on integrity, feed on ambition, you know. They want the smartest people to be able to do what they need done. And then you get into the whole thing where your morals get involved and shit, like that, like, like Snowden, you know. Edward Snowden, this dude is an IT dude, smart dude. Just happened to work for a company where he starts seeing that. You know, yo, this shit is fucked up. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> Over years and years, you know what I'm saying? You doing your job and shit, you get exposed to all this information, and you just come to the conclusion like, yo, this shit ain't right. What do you do? What are your options at that point? You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, sign agreements and shit, contracts. When you sign those agreements, how 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 deep are you into it? You sign a contract. You don't know what the fuck you get into. You know what I'm saying? You know what the contract say, but you don't know what's gonna be asked of you necessarily. So you're doing your job and you know you taught a certain way how things are supposed to be. It's supposed to be ethics and shit involved. But when you get into the field, you actually start doing it and you see what the real deal is. You know. The higher the ranks you climb, the more you get exposed to the real information. You know. You know, they hope to they hope to whittle away your um morals and shit over time. Alright, alright. You got a secret clearance, so this is just information you don't have to be prepared to understand process and absorb. Don't be getting taking the shit crazy. Don't be getting spooked out and scared and shit. Then you, then you have motherfuckers like like Steve Coakley. A dude who was involved in politics. He was a researcher. His job was to you know more or less be a consultant to the politicians. He the guy they go to when they need advice on how to approach things, how to pursue things. You know what I'm saying? He got the information, the knowledge and shit, the history, the reference to be able to deal with the day to day, you know, situations that politicians go through. Then when you a dude like Steve Copley get exposed to as a researcher true information, start putting shit together, and start seeing like, yo, this shit's fucked up. <laughs> the same thing, you know, as a black man, you know, Edward Snow, Edward Snow is a white dude, so it's a whole lot of different dynamics with his shit. As a black dude, as a black man from Chicago and shit, Oh, Steve, Steve is, is the OG. He like the original. Like he, 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 he exposed it all and put it all together to where it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Like, talking Boulé, the real American history and shit. The, you know, hidden shit. Put it all together and, and document, detail, outline, and all this shit, and how the shit all plays together. You know. There's other people, man. And those people destroy. Like, how, how can you say a dude like Edward Snowden is a villain, is wrong in anything that he's doing? If you understand the story, understand the situation. As a dude who get a job, work for the government, 
Task with certain, you know, we tell him certain things he needs to be doing, and he's exposed to this information. And over time, it's like, what do you do if you got morals and you got, like, look, let's look at it. What, what did he do? He Ooh. said it was snow. What, 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 what is he known for doing? Exposing the whole uh, privacy thing. What? He basically kind of exposed the whole privacy thing. Yeah, how they pretty much all in our shit. Yeah. That was, and that it's was, true. That was what they <clears throat> call him treason for. Yeah, they call him fucking traitor and all this crazy shit. But how is he a traitor? If we talk about America, he's I'm a, telling the truth. He, well, I mean, he's an American citizen. So in order for you to call him a traitor, he got to be working against America. If he's exposing... Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's find a distinction between working against or working for America. What does that mean? America as a country, America as a corporation, America as the people in America. There's a few different ways you can look at the term America. What it, you know, as far as you know, they accuse him of threatening national security. And all hmm. shit. If he's saying things that's protecting or intended to protect people in America. The rights of people in America. I mean, who who is he supposed to be loyal to? Right. Who, who as a citizen are you supposed to be loyal to first? That whole thing. But I mean, you know, to add to that. That goes back to a. I actually put the put a post up where I said, "This is the actual post." I said, "How do you?" I said, "How do you do a U.S. United States of America and Taliban deal?" The Taliban is a religious terrorist organization, so separation of church and state only applies within the said country. Or is church and religion separate? Just like you were saying just now, what faction are you involved in when you're against or for America? Because, like you said, so many different. You got the Corporation of America. What else you say? The country. The country. The nation. Nation. It's, seen, it's different. It's right. Different but then people like. But then you got so many different secret societies. So okay, okay, okay. When when does when does national security cut you know conflict with you know the citizen? state of citizen. <clears throat> the government is supposed to be a reflection of the citizen, so it shouldn't be a conflict for a man who's looking for looking to protect the rest of the citizens. You know, it shouldn't be a conflict with the country unless the country got bad intention for the citizen. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean I guess all nations have to, you know, have a little bit to hide but when you talk, Why? talk, huh? Why? Well, just like with a business, you got proprietary information. You got shit that that's personal. What this personal? is, you know, when you running your business, that's personal. You running your business inside of nigga. Do you know what the fuck you just said? When you running a business, it's personal. It's like an oxymoron. I mean, it's it's how's it an oxymoron? Personal and business is two opposites. Man. But I'm saying, when you run it, if you running your business, that's your business, right? When you talking about a country where it's supposed to be the people or the country, then there should, why, why should there be any secret? I, I 
I mean, I, we, that's a discussion we can have. Why would you leave, but keep secrets from the country it's, it's that's involving the country, that's involving the people? Why would you keep secrets from the people who are the country that's involving the country, which, which is, is the people? Just like in a business, sometimes it's necessary to keep secrets from the employees. And shit. The board, the board members don't share that. Yeah, but you're Should paying the employees. The motherfucking country don't pay the people. We're not going to get caught up in that shit. All right, that's not derail. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's too much. It's too much secret stuff. You know that. That's why I just hold my. That's why I can't get up and shake my head to that bullshit, man. You can't. It's, it's, it's not as simple as secret and, and you know <clears throat> transparent. You have to have keep some shit secret, for, for, you know, proprietary information, recipes and fucking formulas and shit. You gotta keep that shit secret to, in order for, to run a business. You can't tell everybody you have secrets. Fucking Colonel Sanders, nigga. You know what I'm saying? But um, I get what you're saying. When you you know, there's never gonna be a case where you have an institution where everybody have access to all. Of you can't run a stock market like that. You know what I'm saying? But um, um, back to you know, Edward Snowden. I use those names. Well, Edward Snowden is the most popular, probably mainstream whistleblower. The term whistleblower. A whistleblower is a person who is within something, sees wrong, and tells it. Yeah. Whatever capacity of wrong, whatever, however you want to see it. Somebody who's within an organization, you know, voluntarily in an organization, see something that goes against whatever ethics they feel or have. And they tell it. So there's degrees, there's levels. You know, some people just get fired and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get fired and tell all the company business and shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers get fired from McDonald's. Yeah, they don't clean us the shake machine, shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But we talking the government is watching every fucking thing you're doing. I'm telling you because I know because I work and I, that's what we do. That's what we did. I no longer work for the company because I'm telling their business. They fired me. They're going to fire me, whatever the case is. But I'm letting you know for your own fucking good. they watching everything you do. And described it and, you know, illustrated how it works and all that shit. So, same thing with Steve Coke. Like, you know, the Jewish people, the whole synagogue of Satan and shit. People wasn't talking about this shit. Mainstream. This nigga was on CNN telling them crackers, like, get them devils. This is what the fuck it is. You say what you want, it's all truth. There's nothing you can do to, to change that. You can call me names, say whatever the fuck you want. You know, you know, try to double and triple and quadruple team me and all this other bullshit. But the truth gonna stand, and that's what it is. And they try to destroy him. They probably killed him. Whatever the case is. Dope me? Yeah. But they let him go for a while, and he just fucking exposed it all, nigga. Like, through his life, like... From the moment he decided to say this shit is bigger than just politics and all this other bullshit. He decided to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the fucking truth. What's bigger than politics? The truth, nigga. What's bigger than politics? What's bigger than politics is your people finding out the truth and processing that shit and Applying that shit to their life. 
that's the end point. You can't let his name die. What is that? What would that be? That's a form of politics. What, finding out the truth and applying it to your life? What is politics? Politics is, <laughs> politics is, a form of, a form of having politics is order. No, you ain't got anything to do with government. I guess that the term government would kind of apply, but politics, all politics is, is, hey, we need money for the light bill. I'm fucking short. The light bill is $150. I got like $35. It's for us living in this motherfucking house. How are we going to pay this light bill? Oh, I got $17. I got, shit, I got $40, whatever. And and getting that money together, I right, shit, we still $17 short, $18, $25, $14 short, whatever. How are we going to find the rest of this money? Shit, we're going to have to do something to get the money. That's politics. Having a fucking problem and finding a solution is politics. Finding a way to get the fucking problem solved is politics. You know what I'm saying? Politics is, you can even apply it to, you know, <coughs> debating, like styles and shit, or ideologies. You know, we need to get the street fixed. Basically what we're doing now, politics. Yeah, that's why niggas say politics. Niggas say politicking. White people don't say politicking. We came up with that term. Politicking. Like, it's a fucking verb. You know what I'm saying? They use the word politicize, which is a verb. But politics is a noun. But we made that shit a verb. Politicking. This is what politics is. Us discussing, building, figuring out fucking solutions. They can make politics what the fuck they want to seem and all that bullshit. More complicated. You know, they make it more complicated or seem more complicated to keep niggas out. Wearing suits. You don't need all that bullshit. All you need is ideas and motherfucking solutions. There ain't really nothing they can do to stop you once you you know, prove your motherfucking shit. Show and prove. That was, whatever the case is. So, um, you know, Steve Copeland and, 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 and um, what else we got, man? We got, we got the dude, who, who was the dude, security guard dude for the, for the Watergate? Told all that shit. Um, whistleblowers, man, they, they all they t- all the time there's whistleblowers coming out. Letting it be known what these crooked, corrupt ass fucking organizations be doing. And if it wasn't for whistleblowers, we would never know. They would just do what the fuck they do, and you know, you know, chew people up and spit them out. You know what I'm saying? All that. What was the point? <clears throat> I did a joint on um, Steve Cobra too. Bro. But um, yeah, man, motherfuckers need to know who he is, man. Who? Uh, Coakley. Yeah, this black dude. Uh, you gotta, you gotta fear the, the researchers, man. You know, and you know, we living in a society where, you know, I might as well be fucking dictatorship. The game is to discredit and destroy. Ain't nothing really free about America. 
you know, speech is free. It's free speech until you know what the fuck you're talking about. So you're a threat to the establishment. Then it ain't really free no more. You know what I'm saying? You're going to pay for that shit. You feel me? <coughs> shit, I mean, when you say enough has been exposed, well, people should know. When you say enough has been exposed, well, people should know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the blueprint is out there. No doubt. But I'm that's, still, a, that's when propaganda and all other shit and the bells and whistles and all that shit come in. I'm still stuck the on the fact. I'm still stuck on the fact of what you, you said earlier. Really. The game on you? Okay. No. Yeah, it's on. But I'm still stuck on the fact of what you said earlier. People, for people to find out the truth and actually apply it to their life. When you say that, I'm still trying to figure out what you mean. What do you, how do you, how do you determine or what do you determine is the truth to apply, that needs to be applied? Oh, go back. Say, say one more time. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. People finding out the truth and applying it to their life. What is that? I mean, do you, are you saying find out the truth about how they operate and then apply that to your life? So in other words, we should create our own secret societies, you see what I'm saying, within our communities? Because I'm finding out, oh, really? It ain't the secret that's necessarily the problem, it's the... Hoarding of knowledge. It's the hoarding of knowledge. What knowledge is that? Uh, history. Everything. Everything. You still not getting to where I'm. You're not getting to where I'm at. You're not getting to where I'm at. What I'm saying is, and I don't know if you probably won't like it, but you don't like to talk about it. Why you always Cause I know every time every time I bring it up, even when we're not on camera, you you be like, I don't want to talk about it. But it's the truth. The freaking it's the the, the spirit, man. It's the spirit. The spirit, I said, bro. I don't talk about what? Everything, everything, all these secret societies all go into the spirit. The spirit, but they try to make it into a religion. They try to call it religion. Man, you be going off on that bullshit, saying you. See what I'm saying? What the that's hell what do with any of this shit? That's man. what it's all about, bro. All these secret societies—that's what they deal with. They deal with demonic, spiritual powers. That's what they deal with. Yeah. So every last one of this? them. We mean even. We don't even so find that. So thing. so once you find the truth about the spirit. You should be enlightened to make the proper decisions. Nigga, get off the surface, nigga. That's not the surface. That's not the surface, bro. Jump jump in the pool, nigga. How is that the surface when the spirit entails everything? So, um... It's not the earth an organism. It's not the earth... Does not the earth have its own life? Yes. (laughs) <laughs> see I put I put I put the babies to bed I put them to bed <laughs> you hear me you put them heads to bed for real so you say how you apply it to your life what you, what, what, you what is what I was saying was what is it to me that's what it is it's the spirit it's the spirit of, no man nigga ask the question again don't do that go back on that no shit. you said you said they don't want to you to find the truth so you can uh, the main thing should be finding the truth and applying it to your life and then I asked you what is that truth? What is that truth that they that people need to be finding to apply to their life? Alright, if you um when you read the word Okay man, let me answer the fucking question. Let man. me say this. <sighs> when you go ahead, go ahead, say what you're gonna say. When you read the word, what about it, man? When you read the word, simple. When you read the word, what does that does the word put you into spirit 
Does it, does it put you into the spirit or does it put you in religion? Now, say what you're going to say. Nigga, did you just drop the mic after that question, nigga? That, that question was not drop micable. A lot of people are stuck in religion and not the spirit. Man, that ain't got nothing to do with what we talking about, man. You asked the question. <laughs> that nigga just dropped the mic. Like he said some more profound shit. I did. I did. Ugh. I am fucking appalled. He ain't gonna get up like, walk off like, like he Barry fucking Bonds and shit. That shit was very profound. Cause too many people are stuck in the religion and not really into the spirit. It's no different than you stuck in the Christmas. That's what the fuck I'm saying. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's the point I'm making. You get the true knowledge and you apply it to your life. Niggas that get true knowledge, they don't play with that fucking Christmas stupid exactly. shit. Exactly. It's just religion. So what, why is you acting like you don't get what I'm saying? No, I was, but I was asking. You, but shit. I was asking you to break it down. Don't you just can't leave it. They need to get to the true knowledge and just and apply it to you. Can't break that shit down. I think break it down, break it down, break it down, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You want to drop the mic again? I will drop the mic and walk walk, walk off again. You just break it up. But go ahead. Go ahead. That shit is supposed to be a moment. Now you got a broke mic and no moment to go with the broke mic. Like you telling people about the moment, and they're like, I don't really get it. Like you just, <sighs> you just broke this whole microphone Damn. for that. What, what was the, what was the punchline? Like, like what was the, the, the prestige and the, the moment? Like you just over here breaking up these expensive ass mics. Like, you know, that would be like being in your backyard just thinking you Shaq tearing up your racket shit. Cool, don't nobody man. see it. Cool, Don't man. nobody know who you are. You just got a whole bunch I just, of broke I just, ass I just placed a lot of spirit you know? into this. I'm just trying to tell I put a like, lot of spirit into this. You see all them this. courts I broke, nigga? You see all them rims I broke? Mm -hmm. Niggas just like, I don't understand. <coughs> like, what that mean? Like, but you didn't feel the don't spirit when I said what I said? You, I said? That shit to junk you felt the spirit, though. You got them racks and shit. I don't care. You might as do something with it. You know what I'm saying? You over here breaking up fucking rims and shit. Shaq did that shit on TV. This footage, nigga. It's like millions of views of that shit. I want you to look into the yeah, Bible a whole bunch of and tell me how many times books. you see the word yeah, religion. See you only see it probably There wasn't even once, that, you know, that once. nice dumps. You so see. is it that you important? You actually loosen the screws up. But anyway, go ahead. more effective. Back to, back to Coakley. And that ain't what Shaq did. Shaq did brand new motherfucking rims and shit. Like, you know, you over here. Nice shit All I'm saying is you made like the you made the point of what do when people find the truth, how do you apply it to your life? All I asked was, what is that truth that they supposed to be applying to your life? And I wanted you to break it down more. And I said what I said. Now we're back to uh when people find out about something, then apply it to your life and we're back to that. So you agree. Basically, you agree with what I said. Whether I broke the mic or not. Y'all heard that shit. I'm not. Y'all heard. Every, all of this shit is, is literally on footage. Like, we're going to be able to look back at this. Like, and this nigga just said, you, you put words in my mouth. I ain't put no and words I, in your I, mouth. You said, exactly. You said, that's right. That I People know about Christmas and then you don't, you apply something to your life that's better than Christmas. Yes, you agree. And a lot of people would say, oh, but Christmas is a good spirit. Is it? Hmm. Or is it a religion? Hmm. So, <clears throat> so, do you see any value in not only, you know, of people, but our people, us, nigga, one of you, one of me, being lied to, our identity stolen, somebody standing in our motherfucking crown and our throne and shit. And we finally get the word that, damn, these niggas stole our goddamn shit. They in our castle and shit. You don't think that's supposed to hold weight? Hell yeah, go get it. So Let's go get it. That's what I mean by getting the knowledge and applying it to your life. You 
you're getting all the signs and you know, not even signs at this point. Like these these fake ass Jews, they scared to death because they get it. Like they doing everything they can to stop it, but you can't stop truth. It just took a long time for niggas right. to hit it. Well, first you got to, I feel like you got a damn it. You wise man told me the worst, the best way to hurt a person, ignore their motherfucking ass. Stop. Exactly. Ignore their bullshit. No. The 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 white man's bullshit. Ignore all the lies. Stop fucking them going with his lies. And eventually his shit is going to it's gonna fade away. Just ignore that shit. Just get away I from it. No, it's probably the best way. Ignore like ignore. The don't even, even exist. Oh, uh, going over? What's up, my brother? See what ignore is active. You have to actively ignore. They don't even deserve that. They just deserve to. How do you? Don't say that. Man. What? Go ahead. Don't say <laughs> what you about to say. It's like military militant super. No, it's like do you saying militant? Do you ignore ghosts? I'm going next thing. If they're around, but you can't see them. Are you ignoring them? No. They <coughs> don't exist. That's not ignoring. That's just like you're oblivious. You don't, you don't see them. Like I drive and I can you know, I feel like I don't even cops can't even see them. Even though they pick me up. Every once in a while they get me. That's my approach. They don't even exist. But um I mean at some point. I don't think it's that white people don't exist. In the physical, man. In the physical. Well, that take a lot of work. In the physical, you gotta. You have to. Uh, probably. You, you, you have to be a part in the physical. Yeah. Mentally. You gotta be an athlete. Yeah, but mentally and spiritually. They don't exist. You see them when you go to work, you go to the store and shit. Well, besides that, they don't even exist. That's my approach. I see them. I don't consider them. Hmm. More or less a state of mind. You know, I don't seek them out. Well, I got a couple people I do business with, white people. And I'm reluctant to do that, but you know, shit gotta get done. You know what I'm saying? Until I find a viable alternative, you know, you gotta do it. But um, yeah, but so I, and, and even even with those, I treat them with respect, I treat them as men and shit like that. But, but that shows the. I even try to support. Them. <clears throat> that shows. The, that shows the greatness of you, though, my brother. That shows the greatness of you to be able to do that, knowing what you know. I, don't know. I feel like I'm great, but you know, it ain't greatness. Per se, like. Well, I just okay. Like, the integrity. Can I use integrity? I guess I got some of that. Some of that. That shows the integrity of you to be able to do that, knowing what you know. You know, so to be able to know what you know and still be able to deal or tolerate is very is, is commendable. You know, but at some point, I feel like you do have to, you know, really give a blind eye to to the, to their presence sometimes, especially when they get the. With the bull, with, the, with all the mess, man. Oh, you know, no, I, I invite that kind of shit. You invite it? Oh, man, I love it. The more you invite it, the more you give the power to So I had a court, a court, I had court. I had court, I had to go to court. And, you know, fuck it, I'm going to keep it. And Rocket, a couple of years. Yes, sir. And, um, you know, so I walk up in there. And you know, big, big, about 300 pounds, 6'5", about 300 pounds. You know, 
black dude, brother, or mine, you know, pulls up on me like, oh, you know, because that's what's my way. And, you know, he stepped back and he was like, oh, what you do? You know, so, oh, yeah, I had to pull another foot forward. So he's like, well, um, you know, we go to raise the, the little thermometer shit. I'm like, oh, no, no, I don't do that, man. Oh, please, shoebox. Oh. And I'm like, huh? I don't, I don't do that. You know, to the head. I like, I like to do my arm. And he like, do your arm. No, nah, we, no, nah, we do it like, like, no, nah, I, I, I would rather you not point that at my head. Like a gun. Like, you point a gun at my head. I'd rather you not do it with the trigger. Man. Do you see the similar? I'd rather you do it with my arm. And it was two white cops. Let me try it. Yeah. You don't let it dry. Oh, yeah. You don't want to. You don't want to. You don't want to. So, um, so he looks at, at Daddy One and Daddy Two and shit like, can he do that? And they look like, ur, ur. <laughs> So I was like, yeah, man, if you, uh, if you aim it at my arm, you get the same results aim at my head without having to aim it at my head like a gun and, and you pull the trigger and, you know you get it you, you see what I'm saying and uh, he's like I don't think it works I'm like well let's try it just try it and let's see so he tries it and it comes up and he's like oh okay it do work I'm like, yeah that's all I'm saying he's like well you don't have to come at me like that I'm like hey the point is taken that's all it really matters you know can you proceed and he let me do it whatever so I walked in and, um, you know, I was sitting, you know, I had to sit and wait and shit. So I'm sitting there and I see, I see, you know, I'm watching this shit. I can still see him. So I see he, you know, he tried it with himself, you know, pointing at his own arm a couple times, you know, and the thing. And then I saw him pointing at his own head, <laughs> and, 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 you know, the thing. And, and I said, you see what I'm saying? It's the same thing, man. There ain't no need to be pointing at you. You said it. Yeah. So. <laughs> So he kind of nodded at me or whatever. You asshole. And yeah, whatever. So, um, so somebody, you know, another person walked up. And what do you think he did? The wrist. What you think? What you think he did? He pointed at their wrist. That's what you think he did? Oh, he tried both ways with him. Which one you think he did? He, I think he tried both ways with him. Nah, he went straight for the head. Oh, wow. Man, you know, that's what he is. But the point is, he get it. He probably went home and shit. You know, you know what? Talk his old lady and shit. You know what, man? The dude came in and blah, blah, blah. And that's all the fuck that matters to me. That he know that there's an alternative. And to see and understand the symbolism of that whole point and shit in his head and shit. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole thing, you know, getting some kind of knowledge and applying it to your life. You being used as a tool, it's a job, I get it, but just keep in mind what the fuck is going on. There's no need for them to be. So, a radar gun, the mom, what the fuck you want to call it, aim at a child's head to get their fucking temperature. When there's alternate ways, alternative ways to do it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The symbolism is important, man. Let, let me you drive your kid, your kid off at school, they step out the car, and some fucking grown up comes with some gun aimed at they fucking head. First thing in the morning. I don't see how people don't see that shit. But I'm going to get off that. I know I'm just doing this. Nah, go ahead. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know I'm doing this. should be funny. But uh, back to Coakley. How was, what was Coakley's, did he have a follow? Did he? See, that's the thing, this is back in what? Look it up real quick. When, when did he, um, I want to say it like 95 or some shit. Like, what are we looking up? Like mid 90s. Look up, look up that CNN interview he did. There's a list of uh, a bunch of whistleblowers. John Michael Graven. Duncan Edmonds. Mm -hmm. 
Igor and Igor Bright Brett. And then a lot of them be international people, people in other countries and shit. Ronald J. Goldstein. Roger Winsill. Alright, look up Steve Cope from CNN. You talking about the one you sent me? Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 1988. Damn, that was 88? Mm-hmm. Wow. See? Damn, that was 88? So, you said he had a, a follow. Yeah. There you go, right there. <clears throat> That's why they get rid of him. They start getting followings. But he 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 actually got to give him a chance to age and continue speaking. I mean, he ain't never let up. I look at That's it like shit. I look at it like this though. Uh, like we, sometimes they want certain stuff to get out, and they'll let it get out so far just to draw you in to it because you know what I'm saying, just to draw you in and then put it and then. Take it back underground. Yeah, I mean, it happens. you know what I'm saying. That's yeah, it. That, goes, come out. that goes back to what I said on the last one, which I haven't dropped. And I want to drop it, but I said it. I said how they damn put the how they was flashing that gum Illuminati on Cartoon Channel in front of your kids on the Cartoon Channel, Channel 53. They were doing flashes of it in between commercials, just flashing the Illuminati. But now they're not doing it anymore. You know what I'm saying? They put it out there, let you see it. They, they even had it on the Taco Bell commercial. They don't even run that commercial anymore. What is TTYL? TTYL. Uh, TTYL. Talk to you later. Yeah, talk to you later. TTYL. Gotcha. Talk to you later. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, um... You know what I'm saying? City pieces. So yeah, they're gonna put it out there for a little oh, bit and then take it back underground as if oh it was just something we was doing. It was a it was a fad. It was a fad at the moment. It was just a spare the moment thing. It was just a moment. <laughs> they had fun with it. But really, they're indoctrinating you deeper and deeper. Yeah, I mean it's a, it's a certain to the rabbit hole. So now you're in the rabbit hole and you got Allison and all the damn, the, the queen and everybody, you know what I'm saying? You know, off with their heads, you know, and all that shit. Now you live you know, in, you're living in the You're back living in the fantasy land. That's a good point. Um, well, what? it's not even fantasy because it's real, but they make it like fantasy land. A lot of that shit came after JFK. When JFK got murdered, they knew they fucked that up. So it was so many people that I was like, yo, that shit is, no, ain't no way. Like, he got hit from all kinds of different directions. And, shit. and it was obvious on the tape. So they, they started that whole conspiracy theory thing where, you know, they could pretty much discredit the CIA and all that. Yeah, to open that whole hole where they can put out their own little bullshit, knowing that it's bullshit, to draw people in, then discredit the whole shit because they created it in the first place. There it is. To make them look crazy. There it is. You know what I'm saying? There it is. And you and you see certain certain secret societies are not even pushed, but they're there. I mean, even my man, my man, Cuz said it on our, on on that last cast I did with him. The Jesuits. They don't even talk about the Jesuits, but yet and still, they talk about the Catholic Church, and the Catholic Church is part of the Jesuits. But they don't talk about the Jesuits. But they talk about the they talk about the Vatican and all that. So basically, see the societies are right there in front of your face when the Pope is 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 is, is parading down. Washington D.C. and everybody's standing there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that's that's how you know. That's how you know they all in cahoots. Are you serious? Yeah, they all in cahoots. That's how you know the media in cahoots. Cause, cause the Pope, I'm talking about religion. The Pope be a Jesuit, and you'll never even hear that word mentioned. You never even hear the word mentioned. 
But if you look up the word the Je- of the Jesuits, it says uh, uh, the followers of Jesus. Which means? Which means? <laughs> you um, know, I don't know enough about it, man. It's too obscure. I mean, I've been reading up on it the past couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna know enough about doing that. No, not really, because I don't think they're putting it all in there. You know, exactly. they're definitely not putting it all in there. But yet, still, one thing that they with, with, that they vowed when they became into the organization was a vow of uh, something like poverty and 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 stuff, some stuff like that. But yet, and still, they the richest purpose. They the richest. They some of the richest. Catholics or the Jesuits? The Jesuits, the Jesuits, and the Knights of Malta. No, I'm saying, bro. I just seen they took that vow of of of, of poverty and, and and stuff like that. But yet, and still, they some of the richest people in the world. So, come on, man. It's 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 all wordplay, bro. Wordplay. The language they speak. They under these codifications. I mean. To keep you indoctrinated. Shit's fucking crazy. Keep you away from what, what what's supposed to be yours. The land. Oh yeah, they want that land. They buying that shit up. Shit, buying it. Keep buying shit. Man, them motherfuckers are just taking that shit. Yeah. Fine, they ain't buying shit. It's mine, and you're gonna pay me for it, and you're gonna continue to pay me for it, even after you get through paying for it. You're gonna pay me some more. I still don't understand that shit. The fuck about pay for something? Okay, the property tax, nigga. <laughs> tax. The IRS been dissolved. We still paying taxes. Yeah, I don't know enough about that shit. It's, 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 it's too goddamn easy to even to, to figure out. I mean, it is what it is. You 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 wrote up a damn contract. You offered people the 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 offering in the contract was, well, we let you work. We'll let you work. Fuck, I can work for myself. What the fuck do I need you for? All I need is my land. I can work for myself. All I gotta do is get the fuck up, get up, do it, get it done. It's just that simple. But anyway. I can go all day about that. I ain't trying to preach. Uh, people get uh, irritated about it. They ain't trying to make, justify why it should be the way it is. Well, eh, you have to have uh, uh, jobs to, uh, I can create my own job. My own means to eat. All I need is a stick, a string, and a hook. And I can go to the freaking lake the pond and pull out fish. Matter of fact, I can raise the fish, put the fish back in the pond and populate the pond. But I don't understand. I really don't understand. Sometimes. I do understand, but I don't understand. Am I wrong? Am I wrong for thinking the way I think? Am I a bad person for saying that this is the this these are the things that could help a person, you know, be independent? I don't know, man. I do know, but I don't know. 
<laughs> Why you say nothing about that? Is that a what? Is that a double conundrum? Is that a double standard? Is that a double standard? I do know, but I don't know. I don't. I do understand, but I don't understand. Or I overstand. It's 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 freaky to me. It's very freaky. So, but think about it. I'm sure there's something to it. Definitely, it's something to it for me. For me, anyway, it's something in it. I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe, it's, and I'm sure it's probably something to Coakley too, because he took a stand for something. So I'm sure it was something in it for him that he felt like needed to be, you know, discussed. Felt like it needed to be uh, put out there and considered. Oh, he put the heat on me. It's on. But I'm trying to, hey, what, what, what? let's talk about, That's right. you know, Let's talk about, uh, yeah. Let's talk about uh, what's up with this uh, Ice Cube contract, man. <laughs> is it, where is it? Is it is it going down or is it is it still popping or what? I don't even nobody talking about it no more. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm not paying attention. Well, you know, I like to pay attention to me, to people around me. You know, like my man right here. I pay attention. He's around, me. so you know. But what's up with that? Yeah, and uh, the new or the allegedly new administration hasn't said anything about reparations, so fuck y'all. This new administration that's supposed to be coming into the into the White House, they or, or the administration that may not leave the White House. Ain't none, ain't neither one of them still said nothing about reparation. But yet and still, you give seven trillion dollars out, and ninety percent of that seven trillion dollars yeah. goes to Big Court. Yeah. Once again, once again, it goes to Big Court. We pay taxes all these. All these years, all these years we paid taxes, you know, Social Security. Then you just, all of a sudden, hey, <laughs> pandemic stimulus package, give it to the damn big corporation. Seven trillion. Mm -hmm. Of tax, is good shit. Of taxpayers' money. And you can't get a, you can't, then you get a penny? You get a penny? Twelve hundred dollars compared to seven trillion is pennies. Come on, man, this shit is ridiculous, man. And I remember you said that shit too, man. God dang, you said that shit, bro. You know what? You said that shit when we first started doing this, bro. You said there is about to be a uh, change of. Of money, you remember you said that? Well, I ain't happy yet. Shit, nigga, that shit. No. Well, it's it started. <laughs> it definitely does start. Hello, come on, man. You on the goddamn podcast? And you there? You go. You. Oh no, it's just my stuff. Oh, you want a podcast? Oh, you want a phone? Uh, Stalker, would you like to say anything to the to the listeners? We're an hour in. Nothing. It's nine o'clock. It's breathing. 
we done. Well, I'm hanging up now, so just call me in a little while. You good? No, nothing. You hang up first, anyway. We're done. Are we through? What do you want to do again? Hmm? We're done or we through? You want to close it out? Close it out, man. What you doing? <clears throat> close it out. Since this was your edition of Black Oh, Blue yeah, I just wanted to talk about it, man. Like, conversation. You know, I just felt like it was necessary. It's very necessary. <sighs> so, like, Anyway, you ain't asking for me for cookies, man. I think it's more necessary than what we really think it is. No, 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 no. I think it's a lot more necessary than what even the viewers think it is. Probably why they scroll past it. Straight to the ratchet. Obnoxious. I'm kind of bitter, nigga. <laughs> nah. Cause I'm, going to, Cause I'm going to the fight this weekend. I'm going to watch some entertainment. I'm good. It's good, though. Just saying, man. I really want y'all to think, man. I really want y'all to understand and get this. It's a lot, it's a lot, man. It's a lot more. It's a lot more that we can learn. A lot more we can put two and two together and get 4,000. It's that common core, man. Blow this shit out, man. Love y'all. I did. I did. Love y'all, man. So stay tuned for another episode. No, I'm in the purpose. Boom, now you record. <clears throat> I'm going with the goddamn. Bogging on the night. Get my black man out of here.